The first camera we're going to add in this tutorial is one that'll be just behind the monarch butterfly so that as the monarch moves along the path it'll appear as if we're flying behind it. So I'm going to hold down the space bar. I will go to create cameras and camera. I'm going to hit four on the keyboard because just like a light my icon and just like the locator it is dropped in the center of the viewport so I'll pull that up and I'm going to use my orthographic views to get this in the general vicinity of the butterfly and I'm putting it just behind him because now I'm going to go to the actual camera view and tip it so that I'm looking down over the back of the butterfly. I'll go to panels inside any of the viewports, perspective, and camera 2 is the one I'm looking for. When I hit 6 on the keyboard, if I zoom back a bit, there's my monarch. So I'm going to manipulate the view the way I'd like it to be so that the butterfly shuts a bit out in front of me. I'm going to go to an orthographic view. The top view is good. And I'm going to shift select the locator. And I'll hit P to parent. So now, if I were to go to my camera view and rewind my movie and play, it appears now that we're flying through with the butterfly. Now, uh, the point I made before is you don't want your path to be too erratic because you can see it just kind of bounces all over the place. So that's something you would just work out aesthetically um, when you're developing your shots for an animation. So I'm going to stop that. And perhaps I'd go to the top view here and we might want to go into this path now and um, start to get rid of some of these more erratic points so that the path that the butterfly and the camera follow is a little bit less jerky, perhaps a little bit more direct. So let's go back and let's see how that view works. Yeah, that's much better. 